So I want to take a moment while I'm uh, kind of going to be exploring the city just a little bit. Because I'm not going to really be showing off the exploration of the city that much throughout the game. Only what's necessary, such as first going to an area or um, something like that. Throughout the city, there are collectibles, such as these. A lava cop ball. They're not useful right now, but they do unlock things. Well, they do unlock some things later. Bike controls. So, uh, A to accelerate, B to brake when you are driving. ZL to do, uh, not, like, just gain so much speed. Tap the A direction and the brake to drift. Drifting will uh, bring your boost back up to max, allow you to boost as many times as you want so long as you're constantly drifting and taking turns. Smashing to a wall just forces you off your bike. And one more button. One more. You can jump. Anyway, that's all the bike control that I need to address. I'm gonna head towards this direction, but I'm gonna be on the lookout for some things. I wanna talk I wanna take a second and talk about Travis as a character. For one thing, he is physically designed after Johnny Knoxville. That is what he is meant that is who is he, he is meant to look like, and you can kinda see it after you mention it. You like you go, like, Oh, I see it now. And uh Travis as a character is a massive, massive loser. He is pathetic. He literally gets his shirt from dumpsters. He he literally just found a, sh a dumpster shirt and put it on. Now the ne now next time I go back to the motel, I'm gonna change it back to the normal shirt because I kind of like his default design. And it and his default design also continues with the theme of that Travis is a massive fucking loser. Sure, he comes off as this cool badass who's who's a killer and he's super cool and whatever. And but no, as you saw, I saw he literally gets his clothes from the trash. He is a massive otaku. Even characters within the game call him that to degrade him. Like, and characters are constantly degrading him, <laughs> like such as Sylvia, just being like. And then also the uh, girl in Can Entertainment saying like, "What the fuck are you doing here? You're, what, are you, what are you doing here? You're not good enough to be in here yet." And we'll see another character about degrading him in a second. Why are you here, Third Raider? This is a place where Third Raiders get together, so you remember. Well, I'll teach you some good stuff. As all first raiders in the world were once third raiders. So third class is the first step up, the ladder to first class. Your life will change if you work here. I'll tell you one more thing. How do third raiders become first raiders? That's easy. They work their damn butts off till they were puking blood. And then work some more. You want to be a first raider? If so, just hard work hard. You chalk up jobs to survive in this town. I'll hook you up with some more work if you do this job well. This job has been posted on the bulletin board. And this is a job about coconuts. And he's the only one we can accept, so that's what we have to do. But you will never punk out on you. I love these transitions so much. There's so many of them, and they're all just good looking. So visually interesting. Locate clientele. Off we go. It's not that far away. It's just right here. What was it called? Like the DDT juice stand? On the uh, mission thing, the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy are okay, but the coconuts of Santa Destroy are more my thing. Coconuts from these parts fetch a high price. This town is built on coconuts. Coconuts are worth more than human life. Coconuts are God, so gather them now. All right, gotta gather coconuts and give them to the storekeep. Uh, attack the palm trees to make them fall, and when I get them, mash A. Three, two, Sounds simple one. enough. Let's get to it. First thing you want to do is just uh, stop moving 
and then not attack that apparently. You, you kind of want to hope that you don't get your ass knocked over by a coconut. So there's one coconut there. Yo, what? Y yo, what? Oh, whatever. Anyway, when you got it, you gotta move over. You gotta move over and mash A in order to actually move. That's the way. That's easy. We got one coconut. I'm gonna go over here instead because those trees are strange. Wait, what is happening? This is. This isn't supposed to. What? Why don't they have coconuts? That's easy. Why they should have coconuts? <sighs> Come on, there we go. If at, po if at all possible, you want to be able to get two coconuts at once. Because then that limits the amount of trips you have to take. This is not going great. For, for some reason, coconuts just aren't appearing. And I don't know why. You know, just, just no coconuts. They're all over here. Why are they just all far away? So weird. I'm gonna have to do this again. Although maybe not. Maybe not, and you'll see why. Come on. Come on, Travis. Work them legs. Weird camera angle, but sure. I might be uh, good to get one more collection. A fuck ton of coconuts. Why are they all over here? Travis, stop it. Alright. Grab two coconuts and let's run. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on, Travis. I know you can do it. Come on, I believe in you. You can get eight coconuts. And you can get eight coconuts. It's easy. All the no hope getting more. That went bad. How did I get gold? Whatever. Hey, you third raider, I've got another job another job for you. Something a little shadier, perhaps. But work all the same. I've sent an introduction ticket to on to my associate. Road becoming a first raider is long and hard. Get your ass in gear. As you can see, if I'm mashing on a loading screen, okay, uh, the star on the bottom right moves up, and on the Wii version, because the loading screens were a lot longer, um, it was able to just fly up across the screen. Just, just fly. Hopefully, I have footage. To show you when I'm too lazy to record it and do all that. Anyway, now that I actually worked at the job center and done coconut related things. Travis, welcome. Travis, welcome. Here is your list of job here's a list of jobs you can do on your next rank. So I got two gigs right now. Assassination gig Assassination Gig 1 and Assassination Gig 2. The first one involves killing a certain guy, but the guy is surrounded by a bunch of goons, and this one is just kill every one and 2,000 per kill. It, I, I think that this one's easier, that that two is easier, and I think it also pays more. If you can do it, may you find a true path. May you find your proper path? So as you can see, there's a ton of guys in there. We'll get to work. Oh, 
Come on. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. There's a bunch of guys like this. You kind of just want to do that and just get a bunch of... You know, just get a bunch of guys all at once. Get on the ground, kill him. Come on. Yeah. And once you do this, just mash Y or X in order to finish off them on the ground. I'm trying to dark step, but it isn't the most consistent thing. It's fairly consistent, but it could be. Stop it, I'm trying I'm trying to grab him. Cool. Ten, ten kills. Sometimes this is the most generous thing, other times I'm just tapping in that direction constantly. And it's just, it's just not working sometimes? I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, there are 15 guys. I've killed 13, soon to be 14. I have 40-ish seconds left. This mission is very generous, and you get a ton of money. I can swing. Oh. I am out of battery. 20 seconds left. Okay. Go, 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 go. And dead. Good time. Oh, it pays the same, the exact same. I was wrong on that front, but I do think it is easier and more consistent to get the full, to, to get paid. And even if you fail, you still get paid some. Anyway, I've got enough money, which is good. So once you have enough money, you look at your the map on mini map to look at the flashing icon, and you kind of just head there. Luckily, ramming head on into cars don't cause head on collisions, and you don't fly off your bike like you do when you hit anything else, which is nice. Oh, speak. That worked. Went from like a hundred miles per hour to nothing was fine, somehow. ATM is right there. Luckily, right next to the motel, for very convenient reasons. You have paid the stipulated entry fee to return to motel, that is why. Because it's right there, so... Just a quick drive over, and I'll be on to stage two. Hey, Travis. The next fight has been prepared. Destroy stadium. Dr. Peace is waiting for you. Hop to it. As I said, I the next time I return to the. <laughs> Look at the kitty. Oh, that's adorable. So that, I said the next time I would come back, I would change back to the default costume because I just like that. Like, it's the default for a reason, because it it looks good, and it's a good representation of who the character is. The entrance to Ranking Battle 9 is now open, of which I will go. So when it comes to the driving, I'm not going to show every bit of driving in this game. Uh, I'm, o I'm really only going to show like the first time I go to a new place, 
So, such as going to a ending battle, I'm going to show. Going to a new location, I'm going to show. Pretty much what that means is during the, you know, the beginning portions of this game, I'm going to be showing a lot of driving. But expect that to become less and less as the game goes on. So, for example, the next time I go back to the job center or K Entertainment, I'm not going to show me driving back to the to those locations. Um, I am in the wrong, going the wrong direction. I'm pretty sure. I was looking at the map and I read it wrong. Expecting more of a sharper left turn, but no, I'm just a dumbass. Just a dumbass. It's right around here. Here we go. Right at the oh, I'm crashing. <laughs> great. I'm a great driver. I, I swear. No, I don't know. Right around here. There it is. fucking go. These guys have bats, which, you know, don't, don't want to get hit by a bat. Just, just, want, just want to point it out there. Probably not a great time. Fucking swing at me. I guess I'll just swing at you. Um, I don't remember which path is the right path. I'm going to go over here first, because I think this is not the right path. So yeah, there's a ton of different wrestling animations that can be shown. And there's one I want to show. Come on. Can't die on the ground. Well, he's dead now. Shit. Oh, the guy. Hopefully I can... Oh, mm, I was trying to dodge it, but, uh... Come on. Just keep, keep beating on him. Whatever. Guess I won't be able to show it with this guy. Alright. So I probably won't be able to use this that, done that much because I'm far away from everyone else. And somehow, and for some reason, everyone just is running towards me. There we go, and in the back, you have an animation, unless you just suplex them. I, I really like this an that animation, it's fun. <sighs> I tried dodging, too late. Dead. Cool. So as you can see, every stage kind of has their own themes and gimmicks. Playing gimmicks will see that a bit later. Come on, swing at me. No. There we go. Dodge the right. And as I said before, in case you forgot, dodge in the way Travis is holding his hilt. So if it's if the hilt is to the right of him, dodge to the right. If it's to the left, dodge to the left. Right there, left. That one was right. And just, or you could just do that. That also works. I wasn't trying to attack you, I was trying to get the guy behind me. Now you're dead. 
Come on. You have an axe? That's not... That's not legal in baseball. How are you supposed to swing with that? Well, actually, you're supposed to... You could probably swing just fine. It's just... Give you a bit of an unfair advantage. Maybe? Would an axe give you an unfair advantage of baseball? I don't... Maybe. Probably not, though. Let's be real. It'd be very top-heavy. Making it a lot more harder to swing. But it would also have a giant face at the end. And probably giving it more area. Anyway, gimmicks. The one that I'm not very great at. Because for some reason, Travis says, you know what, let's let's play some baseball. Just hit the ball. And it really depends on your timing, how far it will go. So that timing wasn't particularly great. And as they... You defeat more and more. The timing gets a bit longer. Because there's more startup. Not particularly great. But that does mean the better you are at it, the less guys you have to fight. So. I'll just attack you. That, I really like that beat attack where he just jumps, kicks you, because why not? That is activated by a few low attacks into a beat attack. Not particularly tough, especially considering they only come in you one at a time because they are their aggro is range based, which means you just slowly walk up to them, wait for them to hit you, dark step, dead. I saw a guy back there. Is there anything I'm missing? No. Carrying on. Tons of money. Very useful. Hello there. Mm. Great. The second I go for a grab, I get attacked. Oh, right. Took a second to register because it was trying to do the uh, ground attack. There's no, there's no switching your lock on. You kind of have to unlock and then relock. Come on, do it. Oh, right. Unblockables. Fuck it. You know what? I'm out. Just gonna. Okay then. Cool. Hey, thick. With a trading card. I don't know what getting them all does. I don't. Maybe they don't do anything. I don't really know. Great. Great. Get the fuck out of here. And super dead. I just want to check if there's anything around. Not really. Carrying on. Alright. More guys. And dead. I think probably one of my issues in regarding to the dark step directions, I might do it too to the 
shoots direct to the side. Like, it's very much, um, like, forward and to the side. Not so much, like... Probably, like, more so forward towards them, rather than to the side. I don't know how to describe it. Like, uh, without showing you the controller and what I mean. Come on, swing. Swing. Fine, I'll swing. Should have done that to begin with. Not very particularly useful right now, which, yet again, as I've said, that usually happens to me. They only activate right at the last enemy of an encounter, making them super useless. Unfortunate, but it happens. Anyway, more baseball. We've done this before, do you really need to say it again? A lot faster! And a lot worse. Me, that is. I got two of the guys. I always check behind me. Just... Just careful like that. And dead. Oh, hey. This one, you have a target reticle and you kind of just slash at them, throw a projectile, and then you just kill whoever it touches. Kind of useful in this room, because then you don't have to run up to everyone in order to kill them. Actually very useful. Which means I can now grab this. Cool. Yeah, I'm over here. What you gonna do? Jitter around? You scared? Well, probably should be considering that, but you're no longer scared anymore because you're dead. Well, that's a bit mean. Hello there. Oh, if you press the wrong button, Travis taunts. Then wasting time. Why is the prompt still there? Okay, it's gone now. I thought that'd be a, a bug that would just stay there until the next loading screen. Apparently not, which is good. But I was a bit nervous. The other chest are no, just continuing onward. I'm gonna kill you. Hello there. And suplexed. Two guys with axes. So scary. What do you got? What do you got for me? Oh, a little kick? I can do kicks too. I can do kicks all day. You want to kick? I can kick. Alright. You guys want to go? Probably should have not done that. Oh. Come on. Twenty more guys, at least two. Oh, I see more guys off in, the, in front of me. Dead. 
I would like some, some of that. Tommy me off. Oh, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Oh, I should back up. But I was in the middle of attacking. Come on. There we go. Should be dead now. And dead. Surprise attack uh, wasn't, you know, that effective. High low, high low, guess it. You can't. Just wail on him. Yeah, that does deplete my battery quite a lot. Gotta, gotta recharge it up. Jerk it off. Jerk my sword off. 